Hello students today we are going to start a new chapter linear equations in this chapter we are going to solve how uh, there will be a variable for that variable we need to find out the value now there will be a equation given like here 3x plus 2 equals to 7 this i am taking an as an example so we always perform opposite operations now here you can see that it is added now we need to get rid of plus 2 and 3 from here to make x alone so first thing we need to get rid of plus 2 now opposite operation of plus is minus so what i will do on the other side i will subtract it so i will get 3x equals to 5 now 3 is multiplied with x here 3 is multiplied with x so on the other side it will be divided just opposite operation of that so 5 is divided by 3 or we can write it in mixed fraction so one whole number 2 over 3 this is the value of x this is how we will solve the questions now i am taking the first question 2 times 3 minus 2x is equal to 13 so first thing i need to multiply this in the bracket because 2 is here so here 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 will be multiplied with minus 2x also so 2 times 2 is 4x equals to 13 now this 6 we don't have any sign so it means it is positive so on the other side it will be subtracted so 4x equals to 13 minus 6 or minus 4x can be written as 7 now this minus 4 is multiplied with x so on the other side it will be divided so i can write minus 7 over 4 this is our answer or in whole number we can write minus 1 whole number 3 by 4 now we have another question in this question we need to solve for x so i will bring all the terms of x on one side here it is added so on the side of equal to sign it will be subtracted so this and this will be equal to 5 now we need to make the denominator still so i will take the lcm 2 times 3 is 6 now i need to make the denominator 6 so to make the denominator 6 what i can do i can just multiply here i am multiplying with 3 and here i am multiplying with 2 to make the denominator same so here i will get 3x and here i will get 2x will be equal to 5 now 3x minus 2x is x x upon 6 equals to 5 or x can be written as now this is 6 is divided so on the other side it will be multiplied so 5 into 6 so x will be equal to 30 now i am taking another question now i am taking another question here 3x minus 1 by 3 equals to 2 into x minus 1 by 2 plus 5 now first thing i will multiply this uh, 2 in the bracket because i need to solve the bracket always so 2x and 2 multiplied with 1 by 2 will give you if i am multiplying 2 with 1 by 2 2 cancels out only one is left so minus 1 plus 5 now minus 1 plus 5 will give you 4 so 3x minus 1 by 3 equals to 2x plus 4 now this 2x i am bringing on this side and this i am taking on other side so 3x minus 2x 4 plus 1 by 3 so 3x minus 2x will give you x and here adding i will get four whole number 1 by 3 so this is our answer now in these questions we have the fractions so to solve the fractions first we need to make the denominator same so to make the denominator same i can just multiply with the denominators of each other so here i have 4 so i am multiplying this fraction with 4 and here i have 7 so i am multiplying this fraction with 7 so here in the denominator we will have 28 4 times 7 is 28. Now I can write 4 times 3p minus 2 minus 7 times p minus 2 is equal to 2. 
Now this 28 will be multiplied on other side and here this I am multiplying in the bracket and minus 7 also I will multiply in the bracket. So here I will get 12p minus 8 minus 7p plus 14 equals to 2 times 28 is 56. Now 12p minus 7p will give you 5p minus 8 plus 14 will give you plus 6 equals to 56. Now plus 6 will be subtracted on other side. So 5p equals to 56 minus 6 or I can write 5p equals to 50. Now this 5 is multiplied with p so on the other side it will be divided. So I will get 10 here. So, P equals to 10 is our answer.